Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Sela. Don Baker has the night off. Tonight, the mother accused of killing her 20 month old son in Chatham County, Quentin Simon, remains behind bars. No bond was set for Leilani Simon today. The recorder's court judge hearing the case says his court doesn't have the authority to murder cases. She did not appear in court personally. She was represented by the public defender's office today. Leilani is facing several charges in Quinton's disappearance and death, including murder. It's now been seven weeks to the day since little Quinton went missing from his home on Buckhalter Road in Chatham County. Since then, several developments have happened in the case. Camille Syed shows us how we got to this point. A lot has happened since Quentin went missing seven weeks ago today. Leilani Simon reported her 20 month old son Quentin missing on October 5th. A week later, on October 12th, police named Leilani as their only suspects in Quentin's disappearance and presumed death. Over a month after that, she was arrested. That's on November 18th after law enforcement found remains that they believe are Quentin's this past Friday. Fast forward to today. Leilani Simon pleaded not guilty on multiple charges, including the murder of her son, and she was denied bond. This court will not consider bond, don't have the jurisdiction or authority to do so. Quentin lived with his 22-year-old mom, Leilani, and his grandmother, Billy Joe Howell. Howell had custody of Quentin, filed an eviction notice on Leilani and her boyfriend on September 26, a little over a week before Quentin goes missing. In between Quentin being reported missing and Leilani's court hearing, Chatham County Police and FBI agents scoured through a landfill for exactly one month until they found what they believe are Quentin's remains last Friday. Leilani, who is currently in jail for killing her son Quentin has two other young children. Neither were in her custody before she was arrested. While Leilani is behind bars, many questions remain. We still don't know what led up to Quentin's death or what evidence law enforcement has that leads them to believe Leilani murdered her child. As we learn more about this case, WTOC will bring you the latest. Camille Syed, WTOC News. Arshay Schrader spoke to Leilani on October 24th in an interview you only saw here on WTOC. And tonight we're looking back at that exclusive interview. Shay joins us now in the newsroom. And Shay, what does this interview look like knowing what we know now? That interview was almost a month ago, and it was the only time that I've ever spoken with Leilani. That was on October 24th. And when I did that interview, Chatham County Police had already said that they believed Quentin was dead, had named Leilani their sole suspect, and had started searching a local landfill for Quentin's remains. In that interview, Leilani never outright stated whether she was guilty or innocent. She maintained that she was broken up over Quentin's death and disappearance, visibly crying both when the camera was on and when it was off. However, she said if it came out that she had anything to do with Quentin's disappearance, she would turn herself into the police. I'm here, I've been here every day since this. I am not running and I'm not hiding. And if something does come up that I am at fault, I will take myself to that police station. Three and a half weeks after making that statement, Leilani was arrested and charged with murdering her son, Quentin Simon. That came three days after Chatham County Police found what they believed to be Quentin's remains in a local landfill. In a news conference held shortly after Leilani's arrest, I asked if she did turn herself in. Leilani made a statement to me that um, she would turn herself in. Was there any talk of giving her that opportunity? No. After Leilani made that statement in the interview that she was willing to turn herself in, her mother, Billy Howell, also jumped in. I will take myself to that police station <laughs> and I will walk with her. According to a family friend I spoke with on Tuesday, Billy did take Leilani to the FBI office where Leilani was arrested and then transported to the Chatham County Detention Center. That detail matches what I was told by a law enforcement source familiar with the case. They sat there for four hours yesterday and so I, I mean, I'm assuming it was for them to get the warrant. So come and pick Leilani up and took her to jail. Weeks ago in the interview, Leilani also told me that she didn't know what had happened to Quentin, but cut off her mother to say she hoped he was alive. We want him found. 
happy and alive. <laughs> we want him back in our arms, holding us. This is what we want. <laughs> We're just hoping that he's in somebody's house and they're feeding him and they are hoping that, you know, maybe they wanted a baby or couldn't have a baby. Maybe they thought they were his savior. But it's not. <laughs> That's their hope, best hopes at this point. An important note about this case in the news conference after Leilani was arrested, Chief Hadley said that he does not expect that they will arrest anybody else. Mike. All right. Thank you, Shay. To look at our coverage of this case, including exclusive interviews and a timeline, head to our website, WTOC.com. Just click on the Quentin Simon case page.